Hi everyone. So today I have a box opening video for three doll boxes. Now, um, one of them's Monster High and the other two are Bratz. The two Bratz are designer Bratz from Mola Lola, I believe. Unless I butcher that. I don't know how to say it. Um, but two are Bratz and one is Monster High. Um, but first things first, um, here with us is slumber party yasmin she's one of my favorites um i believe i think my favorite line would be the slumber party line but just because well one of my favorites just because they're all super cute um i do love their simple makeup and the cute 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 adorable outfits that they come with so Yasmin has this um, eye mask, this sleep mask, super fluffy, really adorable. And she's got braids in her hair, really cool. And her makeup, it's a soft makeup, soft um, purple lavenderish makeup that she's got. She's got soft purple eyeshadow and the same lipstick the lip liner is a darker purple which matches the whole look well she has this fluffy um nightgown is that what it is it's not a nightgown it's um there's a word for it and it's not coming to mind a coat night <laughs> night coat sounds wrong um yeah it's not that but it's super fluffy, really cute. A white tank top. I actually have a tank top like this. I should have worn it, but I forgot to. But I do have a very similar tank top. And I absolutely love, love these pajamas. Look at them. They're little frogs on a, a lily pad. How cute is that? I would love one for myself. My favorite piece of the entire outfit. And also these really cool slippers. Little cool little, I think they're bears. Cool bears, she's got little ears and she's got socks on, which is really cute. I am absolutely in love with this slumber party line. So here is Yasmin. She'll be joining us today because, as I've mentioned, I do have two Bratz dolls that I'll be unboxing. And also, since I have a Monster High doll that I'll be unboxing, I have Shriek Rack Rochelle here with me. And let me tell you guys how much I love, love the Shriek Rack line because I love anything nautical. Look at how cool Rochelle is. I think out of everybody, she's my favorite in the Shriek Rack line. She's got these super cool boots. As you guys can see, there's this um, rope um, all around her boots. There's these stars. And what I believe is um, the wheel of the ship. I think that's what that little detail is super cool and she's also got a heart shape on her boots which says monster high really cool and an anchor how goes cool that and she's got these um tentacles for her arms along with little cups at the bottom she's got this anchor and rope belt a cute top she's got a skirt that has little details in it that says monster high and i i absolutely love love this tie i don't know why it looks super simple but i just i love it it's a little cute it's got it's got little polka dots in it super cute love it and my other favorite is this hair piece head piece it's got a ship on it and tentacles coming out like a 
the Kraken, the huge octopus, Kraken, whatever it is, I love it. Absolutely love it. Goes over her head like that at the sides as well. And my other favorite is, of course, this cute little eye patch in the shape of a heart. And I love that it's transparent, that you can see through it, kind of. Super cool. I love that. Also, she's got a hairpiece here, but a little bow and a tentacle as well, which is super cool. I love that little detail. Now, I don't think this is um, a nautical knot. I think it's just simple bow, but that's still, that's still pretty. I like that. It would have been cool if it was um, an actual knot that they did, but that's cute too. I'm not mad at that. So here's Rochelle. Love her. One of my favorite Monster Highs. I believe she's G2, right? The little Shriek Rack line. Super cute. My favorite Rochelle, I believe. And also, I did get one of the off-white dolls. Um, I forgot her name already. She's, um, she's the one that kind of looks like Frankie, but isn't. She's got freckles, um, heterochromia, and she's got short green hair. She's super cool, but I did borrow her outfit for this doll as well as the earrings. So here's a custom Abby that I have. I got her off of the marketplace and look at her makeup. I love, love, love how gothic it looks. And I thought that she would look really amazing in the off-white um, dress. And she also wore the earrings, the off-white earrings. And I gave her the shoulder cage from Costa and the belt to match the entire ensemble. And I think she looks fantastic in it. Her boots are... Um, so here's what I gave her for her shoes. These are boots from Elizabeth, I believe. These are Elizabeth's boots. Really cute. I thought it worked well with everything else. So she'll be joining us today. Here she is. She's really, really gorgeous, as you can see. One of my favorites. And also <laughs> okay i love ariel oh my god this doll this girl this little miss thing she you guys have no idea how much i wanted to be a mermaid when i was younger ariel was the disney princess for me she's just absolutely stunning gorgeous beautiful voice and all that she's got everything she really has got everything. I, I can't believe she decides to be human, but you know. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful girl. And she's got the prettiest hair I've ever seen in a doll. Like this is so soft. I'm not even kidding. I could touch this all day. That's how beautiful it is. This is how gorgeous she is. She's my favorite. My absolute favorite Disney princess. She's the one. This girl. So she's with us today just because I love her. And that should... Okay. So. I don't collect Funko Pops. I don't like the look of them. Um, they're just not for me. I know people love them. People collect them. But I don't. But... I did get this Funko Pop because I absolutely love Dungeons and Dragons and because he's my absolute favorite character of all time, Zank Yandar. I I um I want I want him to be my husband, like perfection. I love him. And that's why I got this Funko Pop. It came today, it came in today. That's why I'm, he's here with us. But I just wanna share that I got a Funko Pop of Zinc. 
because I love him and because he's awesome. And if you guys haven't seen Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, you should. It's a really fun movie. Worth it. Worth it. Okay. All right. Now let me go grab um the Monster High. It's going to be the G3 um, Monster Ball Laguna. I got her off of Amazon for... Um, five bucks actually because she's on sale i don't know if she still is but you guys should check out amazon i think she's nine bucks on amazon and then i got some extra amazon cash and coupons and then she just became five bucks which is amazing but you guys should check amazon out if you do want to get laguna for sale all right i'll be right back okay so unfortunately my camera died <laughs> while filming me opening Laguna's box but but here she is <laughs> um uh, here she is here's Laguna I'm so sorry I I wish I wish um that part got saved but it the camera just blacked out on me I didn't realize that I needed to charge the battery but but here's Laguna so let me just say that I love the G1 line I do they're iconic I grew up with them they're my childhood but this Laguna might just be my favorite now also, I will say that I don't know anything about these characters. I don't know their stories. I don't know their lore and all that. I just collect them because I love dolls and because I grew up with them and I collect them because they're beautiful. Um, but I promise you that I will learn more about them. Now, I was saying that because the only thing that I don't like about this new Laguna is how pink she is. I think I would have preferred her more if she was still blue like the older line. Or the original line at least because there was g2 but i'm not that familiar of g2 but this g3 laguna is pink and i don't know why they decided to change her color but she's still beautiful i still would have preferred a blue but what i do love about this new laguna is this do you guys see how gorgeous that is that is just it's translucent, it's ombre, it's giving. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm in love so much that I don't even care that she's pink. But anyways, here she is. This is the Monster Ball G3 Laguna. She's got these cute shoes on that has this flower that matches the one in her hair. Really cool. And she's got <laughs> a mermaid dress is that what it's called a mermaid mermaid style dress that i'm not very fond of i do like the colors i do think the magenta and the blue works well together for her entire outfit i just don't like the fact that it's a mermaid dress i wish it was something else other than a mermaid dress because i think the colors are cute i think the colors suit her i just not a big fan of this. She's also got bubble necklace. Super cute bubble necklace. And she's got octopus earrings. I just actually I just noticed that. That's cool. She's got octopus earrings on. And her cute little necklace. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be tentacles as well. And if it is, amazing. I love that. And of course, the huge flower hairpiece. Really beautiful. I do love her. And this is her hair. This is how she came in. Um, it's not that bad, I say, as I turn her around. And it's a rat's mess. But you know, um, I've seen worse. Um, SDCC Freak de Chic Dracula's hair was worse. So that was, that was, that was the rat's nest. This one is not as bad as it seems like. But 
I can still fix it. I'll probably just boil wash it and everything. But I love her. I love her. I think out of everybody at the Monster Ball line, she's my favorite. Because, again, nautic- well, sea-themed. Not nautical, but she's it's still close. So she's my absolute favorite. And also because she's, um, different than Draculara, Cleo, and Claudine's in a way that she's- she has a more fun look. She has more of like a playful look to her um, compared to the other three and they look more glam and Laguna just looks more like oh it's a costume party and all that <laughs> which I love by the way I love that and she did come with a Polaroid of um, her, Cleo, and Claudine really cute she does have a bag as well. It's a little clam bag that matches her whole outfit. And then my favorite pieces. Okay. So there's this, um, what is this? A dipper, a scooper. I don't know what this is called to get the, to scoop the punch out. But let me just say, I'm not sure if it actually is. A shout out to Nessie. Is that supposed to be messy? Because if it is, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> I love that little detail. I do hope it actually is a shout out to Nessie because looks like it. Looks like it. Maybe it's just me, but it looks like it. And then my favorite piece, the punch bowl. I love, um, I don't know why, <laughs> but the punch, the punch bowl, the punches and everything are my favorite parts of a ball. I don't know why, I just, I just love the idea. Really cool punch bowl. Look at that. This bottom part just reminds me of Ursula for some reason. I don't know, don't ask me why, but, um, look at that really cool detail love that and inside you see fish skeletons bubbling down in there why are they drinking this that's gross <laughs> oh cool detail though and then there's these goblets chalice whatever you want to call them really cool and then there's this thing and I have no idea what this is. What is this? Uh, oh, it opens. And I still don't know what this does. I don't, is this a lip gloss? <laughs> it looks like a lip gloss wand. That's the only thing it could be. So I'm assuming it's lip gloss. And then, my favorite favorite ultimate favorite piece of the entire thing this mask oh my gosh can i only wish that i have a mask like this for my own look at how cool that is <laughs> oh that's amazing it reminds me of the captain guy at pirates of the caribbean you know the one with all the tentacles and stuff I forgot his name. I'm not great with names, but that's what it reminds me of. I love that. But anyway, that was Laguna. There she is again. Love her. Again, she's on Amazon and she's on sale, guys, if you want to get her for cheap. All right. So now we're going to move on to Brad's. I'm going to start off with Felicia. Um, just because I already took off, um, the box protector, like the front of the box, because the light bounces off of it really badly. Um, ooh, okay. So, the front of the box, see that light is just awful there. The front of the box has her name, big bold letters, and then an art of her. And that's about it. Now... 
I did take Felicia off of the box just so I could show um, her to you guys really well. But I didn't take Jade out of the box yet. So you guys will see Jade as she comes in brand new. But Felicia already took out of the box. Now, this is what the box looked like. I already redressed her in her second fit. But this is what our box looks like. She came in like that. Ooh. She came in like that without her shades on with her second outfit. But this is the box. There's a really cool handle on top of it. So it looks like a shopping tote bag. And there's art of her at the side, which is really cool. And it says Bratz, Drip Gods, Malola. So there's the art of Felicia, my absolute favorite of all time, next to Jade. Um, and the bag is just silver. But anyways, here she is. And the outfit she comes in when you buy her is this outfit. And I already changed her out of it so you guys can see the second outfit on her. Because you guys already see her in this outfit anyways. Um, this outfit is a pleather jacket, pleather skirt, and a tank top? Tube top? I don't know what to call it. Crop top. That's a better word. A white crop top and now I can't unzip the damn thing. But it's it's um a white crop top underneath. And I have to say that I really don't like pleather because over time it just becomes brittle and it breaks off super easily. So I might not play around with this outfit as much as I'd want to. And she did come with these socks that pairs really well with this first outfit she also comes with a bag also leather i believe no this is something different the brat signature star brushes that i don't use because it destroys the doll's hair who am i kidding i use them all the time <laughs> I should stop. Honestly, I don't know why. I just can't help but brush their stupid hair. I really should stop. But I can't. Um, she comes with a stand as well. I believe she can also stand with this one. Actually, no, because the platform shoes are too high. But anyways, she also comes with a certificate of authenticity. It's just a certificate inside this envelope, so I'm not going to open that. But that's the box. Now, here's Felicia in the second outfit. Isn't she gorgeous? I think she's absolutely stunning. Now, these are the platform shoes that she comes with. Super cool. It matches this fit too, even though it's like all simple black because her hair is also yellow. Now, I'm not a big fan of yellow, but this girl, this Miss Thing, pulls off this look really, really well. Like, what a beauty. What an icon. Only she can do that. Only she can pull this off. And also, I didn't think that I'd love this outfit as much. Because it's it looks so simple when it was on a mannequin, and I thought it probably wouldn't look good, but boy was i wrong felicia said really on me on me wouldn't look good on me she's like no honey i look good in anything anything could probably put her in a potato sack and she'd rock it like look at that and these shades gorgeous on her gorgeous beautiful stunning and also I want to talk about her makeup because oh my gosh oh my gosh is she gorgeous I wish I can do makeup like that 
Like, how do people do that? How does she do that? How is she so perfect? Look, she's stunning. She's got the cat eye going on. And she's got these little, I don't know what they're called, like the little wings in the bottom of her eye, the side of her eye and the top of her eye. And then she's got, um, I would say it's pink. It's more of the pinkish side. She's got pinkish eyeshadow, nude lip, and I want to say that I love, love, love the fact that they made her eyebrows lighter than her hair color because that's perfect. That's, that's stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, and I love the he make cut on her. Absolutely gorgeous doll. And if there's one thing that I don't like, it's that... Her hair came in super messy. That's why I already took her out of the box. Um, her hair, this part here especially, there's a lot of breakage going on. So I had to peel off a lot of hair. But otherwise, she's gorgeous. And my other complaint is that her hair is super thin at the back. Like, you would literally see like a bald spot. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the lighting, but it's literally so thin that you could see the back of her head and there is no other way to cover it because she doesn't have as much hair I just wish she has a little bit thicker hair than this but otherwise she's stunning and she's my favorite absolutely gorgeous doll I highly recommend that you guys go get her I got her and Jade at Walmart. Walmart has Jade for I think 20 bucks or 25, something along that line. Alicia is still pricey as heck, but she's worth it, I would say. I think they have Felicia at 50, but believe me that that's the lowest that I could find her for because she's going for a hundred elsewhere. Brand new. And out of box, she goes for 80, 70, but Walmart has her for 50, new in box. Get her guys, look at her, stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. If you want someone beautiful in your life, she's the one. Felicia. Bye Felicia. <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on. Let's move on, let's move on to jade now as i promised i didn't take jade out of the box because her hair is already kind of perfect just a little bit messed up felicia's was super messed up in box but i did manage to fix her hair so i'm fine with that and i'm gonna take off the protective cover again it has jade's name in bold letters and an art of her and here she is! Here's Jade, cool cat. I'm, I wanted to be Jade when I was younger. Like, who wouldn't? She's literally the coolest of the group. Out of everyone, for me, in my opinion. Everyone is amazing, of course, but Jade was my favorite growing up. I wanted to be Jade. I want to be cool cat. And I love, love, love this box. Can I just say that? Because I love green. My favorite color. And there's a little bit of red in it and i love that because it makes it look like a little watermelon box and that's cute that's super cute and then there's her the art of jade super cool i love that that's gorgeous i love brad's art like do you see that amazing love it now here she is and just like felicia she comes with an extra outfit on a mannequin um, she comes with a bag as well. Hers is more zebra-like. She also has a signature brush that I probably will use on her hair. <laughs> and um, futuristic looking shades. That's amazing. I love that. I love that for her. She also has the COA. And of course, the doll herself. Now, she's beautiful. I think she's one of the 
most beautiful jades I've ever seen from any line, I think. I think she's one of my favorites because I absolutely love to short brows on her. I think she looks super cool with that. And I love, love the purple eyeshadow. I think that's very cool cat. That's very on brand for her. With a dark lip. Ooh, I love that. The black lip liner. Ooh, it works super well. See, Laguna, this is this is how you do it, Laguna. This is that's how it should be. Also, she has heterochromia. I didn't even notice that. She's got red and gray eyes. Gray? Green. I would say I would say gray. It's a little bit between blue and green and light something it has a little bit of yellow in it too so i would say gray but anyways i love her hair love 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 her hair she has super long pigtails beautiful and she's got this going on which i think is super cute that's very on brand and i don't know what to call these but i love them they go around the pigtails does she have pigtails at the back of her Oh, okay. So, wait. Oh, okay. So, she might look like she has just pigtails on. Her hair is just in pigtails, but it's not. So, this is just... Um... It's not. It's actually... Yeah, no. So, her pigtails are separate as well. So, she's got hair at the back going on, too. So there she is, super pretty. I will be taking her out of the box in another video. I don't know if I'll do it with this one because I don't want this to be too long. But here is Jade. These are her shoes. I think they're, they're what do you call these sandals? Um, Geta, I think. I think that's the one, I think that's the word. She's got Geta on. And these are supposed to be black socks or stockings, whichever one it was meant to be as. She's got, does she have stockings on? No, she's got knee-high socks on. So yeah, these are supposed to be socks as well, or her feet's supposed to be. And then this outfit. <laughs> See, it looked great on the art. I don't know about this. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I like it. It are, it reminds me of <laughs> Mermaid Man from SpongeBob. <laughs> I know this costume doesn't look like that. But that's what it reminds me of. I think it's because of this the stars. It kind of look like starfish. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like it. Maybe if they were palazzo, like a, like a one piece suit with palazzo type pants it would look cool and maybe if this star was smaller than it should it, if it maybe if it was a little bit smaller i wouldn't like it i don't know there's just something about it that i'm not very i'm not very fond of now i will be taking it out of the box so i for sure will be putting her on the second outfit or i do have a bunch of brad's outfits that i might put her in but yeah, that's Jade. There she is. You might see her on another video with a different outfit on. Because I don't think I'll be unboxing her for this video. I don't want it to be too long. But yeah, hope you guys like this video. Thanks.